Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Paul, an international medical graduate. In this video, I will try to compare, make you clear about the MCC and USML examinations. At the end of this video, I will show how can you prepare for both the exams at the same time. Especially this is crucial for those who are planning to appear both MCC and USML exams. I have many videos on how to prepare for the MCC examinations. Please check the link in the description below if you have an interest. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you find it helpful. This will help grow this channel and encourage me to make more videos like this. Now let's jump into the video. Let's start with MCC examinations. It consists of three parts. The first part is Medical Council of Canada Qualifying Examination Part 1, also known as MCCQV1. Then National Assessment Collaborative Objective Structured Clinical Examination or NACOSCI. And the final part is MCC Qualifying Examination Part 2. MCCQV1 is a one-day computer-based test. Two sessions, morning and afternoon. And the score ranging from 100 to 400 with pass mark 226. In the morning session, there will be 210 multiple choice questions. Among those, 35 are pilot. And the test will run for four hours. In the afternoon session, there will be 38 clinical decision making questions and eight questions are pilot. And the total duration is three and a half hours. There will be a 45 minutes mandatory break in between morning session and afternoon session. Now let's move on to NACOSCI exam. It's a one day clinical examination and only for the international medical graduate. Consists of series of stations. It could be 10 or 12 stations. Each station is 11 minutes long with two minutes between stations. And the total duration is roughly three to four hours. At each station, a brief written statement introduces a clinical problem and outlines the task, like taking history, do physical examination. Those are also known as doorway information. There will be also one standardized patient and a physician examiner. Most of the clinical scenarios are from medicine, surgery, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, psychiatry, and preventive medicine and public health. Now the physician examiner will look for the quality of history taking, diagnosis, management, communication skills, physical examination, investigations, and lastly, data interpretation. MCC qualifying examination part two is the last part of MCC examinations, and it is also an objective structured clinical examination. There are two types of stations. One is 14 minute stations and the other is six minute paired stations. There are total 12 stations, including two wet stations. Now what the candidates need to perform at each station? They need to elicit a history, describe a focused physical examination, manage or resolve a patient problem, assess and manage an urgent or emergent situation, counsel a patient or a family member, answer oral or written questions, summarize and present findings to an examiner or colleague, read or reference materials pertaining to the patient's situation such as an articles, charts, test results, medication list or summaries, and lastly, interact with physicians or other healthcare professionals. Now let's move on to USMLE examinations. Like MCC, USMLE has three steps. USMLE step one, step two, and step three. But step two has two components, step two clinical knowledge and step two clinical skills. Step one is a one day examination divided into seven 60 minute blocks and administered in one eight hour testing session. The number of questions per block may vary but will not exceed 40. The examination also includes a minimum allotment of 45 minutes of break time and a 15 minute optional tutorial. Like step one, step two CK is also a one day examination. It is divided into eight 60 minute blocks and administered in one nine hour testing session. The number of questions per block will not exceed like step one and the break time is same as step one. Step two, clinical skills. It's a one day clinical examination where the candidate has to encounter 12 patients, 15 minutes for each. Immediately after each patient encounter, the candidate will have 10 minutes to complete a patient note. USML is step three. 
It is the final examination in the USMLE sequence. It's a two-day exam. The first day of testing includes six 60-minute blocks. Each block contains 38 to 39 items. Total seven hours in the test session on the first day. That includes 45 minutes of break time and a five-minute optional tutorial. Second day is approximately nine hours. A five-minute optional tutorial followed by six 45 minutes blocks. Each block contains 30 items of questions. It also includes a 7-minute CCS tutorial followed by 13 case simulations, each of which is allotted a maximum of 10 or 20 minutes of real time. A minimum of 45 minutes is available for break time. Now let's see what is the minimum requirement for the residency application in Canada as well as in the USA. MCC QB1 and Nakoski are the requirements for the Canadian residency application. In addition, a candidate needs academic IELTS, seven in each component, and Casper test for a few of the provinces. On the other hand, USMLE Step 1 and Step 2 are the requirements for US residency program. But if a candidate can pass MCC QB2 or USMLE Step 3 before the residency application, the chance of getting a residency position will absolutely increase. Now, what are the similarities between MCC examinations and USMLE examinations? MCC QB1 is quite similar with CK, as well as NAC OSCE is quite similar with CS. Now, if anyone is planning for both MCC and USMLE exams, it is possible with the same preparation, he can appear all these exams and can pass and do the best. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions or you would like me to make a video on a particular topic, please leave a comment. And also do not forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and click the bell icon to get the notification of my latest video. Till then, stay connected. I greatly appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.